battery chemistry, battery range, and the battery capacity are the three important aspects of an EV car. But not a lot of people talk about these details. So in today's episode, I'm going to cover these three aspects of EV cars that are available in India. Hello everyone, welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. So you would have seen many car reviews, EV car reviews, which talk about a lot of facts about uh, these cars, uh, whether it is uh, ADAS, 360 degree camera, ventilated seats, etc, etc. But for some reason, most YouTubers miss out on the most important aspects of battery characteristics like bat battery chemistry, the capacity, how fast it can charge, uh, etc, etc. So this video today I'm going to make is comparing some cars only talking about these aspects of the battery. So let's get started. Before uh, I go deep into specific cars, we will be talking about the battery types of these cars, whether it's an LFP, NMC or something else, we'll be talking, I will be talking about the battery capacity, the range. Uh, so the range is the real life range, which I'll be talking about, not what is stated in the advertisements or in the, in the booklet. So it's a real life uh, range of these cars. Then the charging speeds, the AC charging speeds and the DC charging speeds. And the last thing I'm also going to cover whether these cars are born EV platforms or they are like ICE platforms converted into EVs. Because these are very important aspects of an EV, a well-engineered EV. So let's get started. The first cars I'm going to talk about are Tata cars. So Tata cars, Tata EV cars are uh, have been number one uh, in terms of sales for a uh, quite a long period now. So I'll start with Tata cars. So Tata cars, I'm only looking at Punch EV, Nexon EV, and the recently launched Curve EV in this uh, comparison. Um, good thing about Tata cars is that all of them come with the LFP battery. I s tend to favor the LFP battery over the NMC because uh, LFP batteries have uh, certain things which work in their favor. I will probably cover this aspect in another episode, but the Tata cars come up with the LFP uh, batteries, which is which is a very good thing. Talking about battery capacity, if you talk about punch, it is uh, 25 kilowatt hour to 35 kilowatt hour uh, and the range is, uh, real life range is around 220 kilometers to 300 kilometers. It's not a huge range, so punch AV mostly you can probably manage with some long trips, but it is primarily targeted at the city travel. Uh, and then talking about the charging speed of the Punch EV, AC charging speed, it supports 7 point kilowatt and DC supports, it supports up to 50 kilowatt. Not great speeds, but quite good enough for these uh, battery packs, which are small. And Punch EV is built on a born EV platform. So that's also pretty good. So except for the smaller battery capacity and the lesser range, uh, everything is pretty much good with the Punch EV. Now let's go to the Nexon EV. Again, LFP battery. Uh, I'm taking into consideration the long range uh, 46 kilowatt hour battery. So the range, the real life range in this seems to be 350 kilometers, which is pretty decent, but still not as good as what I would consider as a, a long range, a long distance car. So 350 kilometers of uh, real life range. The charging speed is 7.5 kilowatt for AC and 60 kilowatt for DC. So it charges in about six hours uh, in AC and one hour in DC. So when I'm talking about uh, these hours, uh, it is uh, charging from 10% to 100% or 20% to 100% because nobody is going to charge from zero to 100%. So that's the uh, range that's the charging uh, uh, percentages that we are talking about and the speed and the Nexon is built on IC, ICE uh, uh, platform it's not a born EV I think they will move to born EV very soon but as of now uh, it is ICE so pretty good uh, but just the platform which is not born EV is a sort of a uh, not so good thing about Nexon EV moving on to the curve EV Again, LFP battery, 55 kilowatt hour battery capacity. The range is 400 kilometers in real life, which is pretty good. The charging speed, 7.5 kilowatt and 50 kilowatt for AC and DC. And the time it takes to charge is around 9 hours and 1.2 hours. 
uh, for AC and DC. Again, it's very good uh, and it's a born EV platform, which is also good. One thing I didn't like is that uh, for a car which is more modern, they could have given a better charging speed, you know, more than 70, 80 or up to 100. It still has 50 kilowatt. Surprisingly, Nexon EV charges a bit faster than the curve EV, which is uh, uh, what I think is pretty odd. So that's, uh, those are Tata cars. Let's move to the Mahindra cars now. So there are three cars that I'm comparing here, the XUV 400, BE6 and XCV E9. I don't know why the newer models are a bit uh, not so easy to pronounce, but yeah, BE6, XCV 9E. So those are the two new models that Mahindra has launched. Now the let's talk about XUV 400. The battery type is NMC. NMC batteries are good. I'm not been, I'm not saying it's bad battery, but LFP is more recent uh, battery technology. So I wouldn't give uh, a good uh, rating. Or I'll, I'll cut some points for the battery types for XUV 400 because it is NMC. Uh, the battery capacity is 39.4 kilowatt. The, the real life range is 282 kilometers. The charging speeds are 7.2 kilowatt and 50 kilowatt uh, of speed. And it's a Bond EV platform. Again, nothing great or nothing outstanding in terms of battery for XUV 400. It's a, it's still a smaller battery pack, not a great range and NMC battery. Let's look at BE6, which is more recent. Let's look together at BE6 as well as a XUV 9E because both have a very similar characteristics if you can see uh, in this picture. So it's it has a battery capacity ranging from 59 kilowatt all the way up to 79 kilowatt hour uh, and the range it stay you know the, the people have claimed is uh, up to 400 kilometers and up to 450 kilometers uh, on, on the two battery packs. The charging speeds are very impressive here. So it charges at 11 kilowatt hour sorry 11 kilowatt uh, of AC charging and 180 kilowatt of DC charging. It's very fast and uh, it can charge in, in the case of DC, apparently it can charge within 20 minutes from 20 to 100%. So that's pretty good. And the platform is born electric platform again. So a lot of things good about these two cars, B6 and XEV 9E. So I would rate these cars as uh, pretty good cars. Let's go to MG now. So MG, uh, again, I'm comparing three cars, Comet, ZSEV, and the recently launched Windsor. Comet has a somewhat of a different battery, both Comet and ZSEV. It's not neither LFP nor um, uh, NMC. It's something called as lithium, lithium prismatic or something like that. If you know what type of battery it is, please leave, leave it in the comment, but uh, it's neither LFP nor NMC as I, as I read from the from their manual. Um, Comet is, is again a small car with a small battery, 17.3 kilowatt hour capacity. It can go up to 180 kilometers of real life range. The AC charging speed is 3.3 kilowatt, not great, but it's a small battery, so you can manage with it. Six hours it takes to charge uh, on AC and it does not support DC char fast charging and it's a EV platform. So Comet is mostly a city car, so considering that it uh, passes everything except that a uh, battery type is somewhat non-standard and the same thing with ZSEV with the battery type but it has got a bigger battery 50.3 kilowatt hour battery it has a real life range of 380 kilometers AC charging speed is 7.4 and DC is pretty good impressive 92 kilowatt of speed so it can charge within 45 minutes uh, between 20 to 100 percent and it is built on an ICE platform. The ZSCV is built on an MG Aster uh, platform, so it's not a born EV. So, few things not so great, good about uh, this uh, MG ZSCV, the battery type and the platform. Otherwise, it's, it's a good car. Next is the Windsor, uh, the newly uh, launched Windsor. This has a LFP battery, so that, that ticks uh, for me. Uh, battery capacity, 38 kilowatt hour. It's not a it's not a, it's neither small nor a big battery. It's sort of a medium sort of, sort of battery. They could have come up with a bigger battery for a car of this size, but right now it is 38 kilowatt hour and it gives a real life range of 280 kilometers. Not great, but definitely uh, something you can work with. AC charging speed is 7.4 kilowatt and 50 kilowatt. 
for some reason again I, I would have expected a faster DC charging speed but they, they support only up to 50 kilowatt and it's a born EV platform so Windsor everything looks good except uh, that it has a smaller battery pack and, and a smaller range Next, let's look at Hyundai Motors Hyundai Motors we have three cars here uh, Kona Creta EV and Ionic 5 uh, for some reason all the Hyundai cars EV cars are using NMC battery um, so I that they, they, they lose one point uh, if I were to rate it so you know, all of them use NMC battery if you talk about Kona 39.2 kilowatt hour battery the range is 330 kilometers charging speed 7.2 and DC charging speed 50 kilowatt uh, and it's a born EV platform uh, again nothing great about this car um, so let's move on to Creta EV a lot of things have been said a lot of good reviews about this Creta EV but I have a mixed opinion because of the battery type it's NMC and uh, the battery capacity is 42 kilowatt hour and 51 kilowatt hour range i don't know because this car is not out yet so we will come to know when when uh, when it comes hits the road about the real life range the charging speed is 11 kilowatt for ac which is good but dc is only 50 kilowatt again so uh, and the platform platform is ice platform so people talk very high about creta ev just because of creta ice uh, i guess I, I think this creta ev uh, loses out a little bit for me in terms of uh, the battery type and the platform which is not a born EV and the last one is Ionic 5 Ionic 5 is apparently the best uh, car uh, the, um, uh, according to many um, surveys and many people uh, who compare cars apparently it's the best uh, EV car it uses an MC battery 58 to 84 kilowatt hour of capacity real life range of 450 kilometers and uh, the bigger battery pack even crosses uh, 550 so it's very good uh, that way charging speeds are very impressive ac charging speed of 11 kilowatt dc is 350 kilowatt that's phenomenal uh, it can charge within 20 minutes on a dc fast charger and it's a born ev platform so ionic 5 people say it's good so i'll go by that except that the battery could have been i would have preferred an lfp but it's an nmc battery Next is Kia. Kia has only one offering, Kia EV6. Again, a non-standard battery type, Li, PO, lithium-ion phosphate something. Uh, I don't know. Or, or lithium-ion polymer something. Uh, that, that's the battery type. Again, I have not heard of this battery type. If you know something, please leave it in the comment. The battery capacity is 84 kilowatt hours. So, pretty big battery. Range is impressive, 530 kilometers. The charging speeds are also impressive. 11 kilowatt for AC and 150 kilowatt for DC it can charge in 20 minutes on DC fast charger so pretty good it's a EV platform again so all things good about EV6 it is just the battery type is non-standard and it's a slightly expensive car for my liking so that's Kia uh, I'm sure they will come up with more uh, EV models but right now this is the only uh, available model before I proceed a kind reminder to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon Next, let's look at BYD cars. BYD cars comes with legendary LFP blade batteries. They are pretty good and being an owner of a BYD car, I can uh, vouch for it. Let's look at the models Atto 3, Emax 7 and Seal from BYD. All of them comes with the LFP battery as I mentioned. BYD Atto 3 has ba battery capacity ranging from 50 kilowatt hour to 60 kilowatt hour. Range ranging from uh, 340 kilometers to 420 kilometers. Charging speed AC is uh, 11 kilowatt and DC is 89 kilowatt and it's a born EV platform. It, they are, Atto 3 is a pretty good car. Next is the Emax 7 uh, LFP battery has a battery pack of 55 kilowatt hour and 72 kilowatt hour. Range 370 kilometers to 480 kilometers. The charging speed is 11 kilowatt for AC and 115 kilowatt for DC and it's a born EV platform. Again a pretty, pretty good uh, car. Next is the BYD Seal LFP battery, 82 kilowatt hour capacity, 550 kilometers of range. That's pretty good. 11 kilowatt for AC charging speed and 150 kilowatt for DC charging speed. Again, it's a born EV platform. So that's uh, in a nutshell about all the cars that are available in India with the focus on their battery types. Now, let's take a look at a, a brief summary. So if you're looking at uh, cars with LFP batteries, you are looking at Tata Punch, Nexon or Curb EV. 
uh, in Mahindra you have BE6 and XEV9E, in MG you have Windsor and in BYD all their cars Ato3, E Max 7 or SEAL. So these are the cars with LFP batteries. If you are looking at cars with which are born EV architecture then it's Tata Punch and Tata Curve. On Mahindra you have XEV400, BE6, XEV9E, pretty much all their cars. MG has uh, MG Comet and Windsor. Hyundai has Kona and Ionic 5, Kia has EV6 and BYD has Ato3, Emax 7 and Seal. Now if you are looking at EV with at least 400 or more than 400 kilometers of range, then you are looking at Tata Curve EV, Mahindra B6, XEV 9E, Hyundai Ionic 5, Kia EV6 and BYD Ato3, Emax 7 or Seal. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you like the content. See you again in other episodes of Green and Clean YouTube channel. Thank you.